Good morning, I'm Jade and I'm here today with Ms. Nadine Arnold from Intel to kick off this new webinar titled Key Reasons to Refresh PCs Now. Nadine, thank you for being with us today. It's a long time since, since we last met. Good morning, Jade, and good morning to you all. First, let me introduce myself. I'm Nadine Arnold and I'm in Intel and working as a sales development manager. Indeed, it's a long time we met, so I think it's four and a half years ago. I must say there has been a lot of changes and there are a lot of things we can talk about. You're right. I am curious and uh, looking forward. Uh, let's draw a line to see where we are today on the map. What has changed in today's devices versus all our client PCs for five years aged? With pleasure, Jade. Let's start with the obvious, the form factor additions. With today's technology, the end customer has a great number of choices. Looking at the desktop uh, landscape, you can choose the device that suits your personal usage model, ranging from the traditional desktop PC tower, um, different sizes, to the all-in-one PC, where you combine screen and the computing device uh, in one single device, a small form factor um, PC, or even a PC on the stick. It's even more impressive to see what happened on the notebook and mobile segment over the past five years. You have choices between notebooks with all screen sizes, thinner and lighter and with much longer battery life than before. You have enhanced security and the so-called two-in-one devices like the Aspire Switch from Acer um, are gaining traction as well in the business and also in the education market. Um, it's, it's great, they combine the notebook and tablet desire of each user. This sounds great for the users. It looks like the devices have never been that personal before. And it's like whatever you need, you will get it. So uh, Nadine, what about performance? Uh, in our daily business, we expect the machines up and running with great performance and being highly productive. Do all these form factors meet the demand of the users? Yeah, in one easy word, yes. yes. Yeah. So let's talk some real numbers. If you compare a five-year-old desktop PC, Windows XP, standard configuration with today new all-in-one devices, you can expect a performance increase of more than 180%. Today's Intel Core processor-based desktops can run the key business application up to two times faster. We all know that increased performance leads into improvements in employees' productivity. Let me give you one more example. If an employee spends 10 minutes per day waiting on a slow PC, a new system will gain back 6 minutes per day, and that remains into 23 hours per year. This is 3 full working days. This obviously scales the number of employees within the company. Today's so systems, are, they, they are just impressive. So I suggest everybody to read through the studies, the independent studies on the topic. We make these available to you. They all have one common sense. Refresh your PC now. So we look at enhancements in form factors. We got proof points for better performance and productivity. What about the very important topic that's security? We hear every day in the news about increasing threats and breaches. Uh, have there been enhancements in security over the past years? Thanks for bringing that up. It's very important and certainly a point we cannot miss in the discussion around desktop refresh. Security is key in today's complex environments. Looking at the report from the Identity Theft Resource Center, it reveals that there has been a total of 533 data breaches recorded through September the 1st this year. And more than 140 million records have been exposed. The business sector accounts for nearly 40% of these incidents and this was an average cost per exposed record of $280. For the past three decades, enterprise security ha has encountered software-based security threats with software-based defenses. 
Today, however, software-only measures are often not enough to fully protect your PC from a modern hacker attacks. And uh, the Intel hardware enhanced security is a solution that help, help protect your sensitive business data, user identities and network access with three new features. So on the one hand side, we have the one-time password becoming a set, second authentication factor. We have the enhanced malware protection. It's blocking malware from being executed. And we have the bias protection. It's avoiding hacked bias version to be installed and launched. So it's good to hear that security is embedded in the hardware now as well. It looks to me that securing and protecting our business eliminates the hidden cost of poor PC security. Are there other hidden costs that legacy system generates? Yeah, that's for certain. As a general rule, I would say fresh systems have a lower total cost of ownership versus old systems. Today's clients can lower their IT costs, so they need fewer repairs. That's for certain. The maintenance cost is lower and they integrate new manageability features. To make an example, an old PC has higher upgrade costs, not less than 40% higher upgrade costs, compared to a new PC on the latest technology. It also has much higher repair costs, measured on an average $427 per year. In the long term, your cost to repair a legacy PC is going to equal or even exceed the price of a new PC. As a conclusion, I would say, don't wait until then to refresh and cons consider to do it just now. Let's also take energy efficiency into consideration. Latest systems can do more while asking less. They use less power, for instance. The fifth generation of Intel core processors and the hardware components are designed to be extremely power efficient. Taking a mobile example, today's Intel Core M processor-based Cinelite notebooks, they consume up to 75% less power wow. than a four-year-old system. Furthermore, with a fifth-generation Core processor-based notebook, you can get up to three times the battery life if you compare it to a system from the year 2010. So that's in between 4 and 11 hours. Think of the saving on a bigger or even on a global scale. It would be immense. Indeed, we talk big saving here. Nadine, over the past months, we see increasing discussions around so-called user experiences. Honestly speaking, this sounds very consumer-driven and not so much business talk. Where do you see advantages of all these different wireless usage models? Let's start with the most exciting for me, the wireless display. Jade, user experience is key, specifically in the business segment. Having no wires anymore is increasing mobility, flexibility, and for sure the productivity of the users. And it's decreasing the complexity, for example, in the meeting rooms. Wireless display, such as the Intel Wide-Eye technology, is one example. You can connect your device, wireless in a secure mode, to the projector. It's very fast, it's very easy. Intel conducted the research and it's just mirroring everybody's everyday experience. In an average, seven minutes are wasted at the beginning of each meeting trying to share data by connecting to a projector in the room. So the users are really looking for no wires. They, they will use wireless display technologies and we have wireless docking. We have very important and very revolutionary wireless charging now on the plate. This sounds promising and it's definitely one of many reasons to refresh. Some months ago, Microsoft launched their latest OS, Windows 10. What are the benefits of Windows 10 and latest Intel Core processors? In simple words, with Windows 10 and the latest Intel Core processors, we will increase performance, enhance security and ease manageability. And um, there will be another webinar on the advantages of Windows 10, and I recommend everybody to attend.
Thank you, Nadine. Lots of reason to refresh HPCs. So let me quickly summarize what I captured. Increase of performance and productivity, variety of form factors, enhanced security, hardware-based, lower TCO, more energy efficient, broader user experience. Thank you, Jade. Very well captured. And I guess everybody agrees that these are good reasons to refresh. Yes. And thank you to the audience for your attention. Please send us an email with your comments and feedbacks and let us know if we can send over content and studies to you. Email at business.email at